In this video, I'm going to show you Sora's optimal combo routes at all percents, along with kill confirms, alternative routes, and tips on how to perform them. Before all that, let me address some important things. I will be using the training mode mod, which improves Ultimate's training mode by a lot. I couldn't have made this video without this mod, so I encourage you to check out the mod page and creator, which I'll link in the description. Thanks to this mod, the CPU has been set to DI and SDI properly, as well as mash air dodge. Even though this down throw near connects, the combo counter does not display as true. The combo counter is wrong. What happens is, Sora catches the first frame or two of the opponent's air dodge startup, but because they're technically not on hit stun, the counter doesn't recognize it as true. A lot of Sora's combos are frame tight like this. Please ignore the combo counter for this video, it's not really reliable. There are a few characters that have frame on escape options, which means they can break out of a lot of these combos. That being said, not all frame one options are actually useful for this. While you should be wary of these options, don't give up hope on comboing altogether. You can still call them out and get lots of damage. Sora makes use of instant double jump a lot. Self explanatory, but it's where you instantly use your double jump after your regular jump. IDJ Nair can be used as an extension in certain routes for more damage and can sometimes help with consistency. I'll go more in depth with IDJ Fair later in the video, but just know it is effective with comboing fast fallers. Instant double jump up air allows Sora to combo in the Nair, up B, or forward air. Depending on the opponent's height and percentage, they may be able to air dodge away. However, because they're still so high up in the air, Sora can still punish their air dodge lag. This is the concept of air dodge trapping. Always be prepared to trap an air dodge after an IDJ up air in case you can't true combo into anything. Technically, Sora can chain Nair into itself repeatedly, looping an opponent. This video will not be covering these loops. As of right now, they're a little bit too unreliable for me to count on. Platforms, character weights, and rage can all mess up these loops. Links to resources about the training mod, instant double jump, and nair loops are in the description, as well as a list of frame run options that you should worry about. Now, onto the video. I've tested all of the following combos on Peach, Mario, and Wolf, so character specific stats shouldn't mess with combos much. Your main goal when comboing at low percents is to combo into nair, then into up tilt, and finally forward air or up air. Combo with Nair by performing Nair 1 and then fast following Nair 2 as close to the ground as possible. Try to hit the outermost hitbox on Nair 1, it has the most hit stun. After the up tilt, a lot of Sora players like to end with up air but forward air is also possible. All of Sora's combo starters can lean to Nair up tilt at low percent. With platforms, you can usually full hop Nair onto the platform and extend your combo that way. You can always add in another Nair chain or two during these combos.
I don't recommend going overboard though, as it can get harder to follow up on up tilt past that. If you ever aren't confident in landing up tilt or following up on it, you can just end your combos with forward air right away. As percent increases, combo starters start to change. Up tilt can't be followed up on, back air will stop linking in your grab, and down tilt and down throw will send it to tumble. IDJ up air starts being really useful at this percent. Under platforms, Sora's moves will start to set up tech situations.
double jump up air to up B will start killing from platform tech chases. This kills because Sora's double jump takes him so high to the ceiling. The trick to landing this confirmed so early is hitting a meaty up air. The second frame of up air still has a hitbox that can reach the opponent, and hitting this will give us enough frame advantage for up B to connect. Starting from the down throw, this works from about 49 to 69%. Our low percent combos will actually get the opponent right into this percent range. Two frame air dodges and one frame escape options seem to have a smaller percent window, but it should still be possible on them. Keep in mind that the effectiveness of this confirm will differ depending on the ceiling height of the stage. This confirm can technically be set up from reverse up air on the ground, but Proper DI will make it much harder and more inconsistent to kill off of. It can also work as a call out when people are in the air too much above you, but it's pretty hard to land raw like this. While Sora will most likely be getting the majority of his kills through edge guarding or ledge trapping, he still has kill confirms that can help him take stocks. Down throw will still combo with DI in at high percents. DI away will avoid any follow ups. At the ledge, we can use this knowledge to our advantage. This can condition people to DI away, which will make forward throws angle better for edge guarding. Down throw up smash is never normally a true kill confirm with DI in or DI away. If it does connect, it usually won't hit the sweet spot, so it won't kill. It works fine on no DI, but this isn't realistic in a real match. If we include a dash forward for a single frame, we can barely connect the sweet spot on DI out. This is a frame perfect maneuver and can be impossible on two frame air dodges. We do have a trick to make this confirm work better against the majority of characters. Pivot down tilt will make Sora slide back while he attacks, allowing the sweet spot of up smash to connect better on DI in. This makes it an excellent whiff punish option, as players will usually be holding DI in after moving towards you. The down tilt up smash connects and it's back raise game. Wow. Wow. Dude, the last three games? <laughs> 
You may remember this combo from earlier, where we use forward air to drag down into a jab or up B. On most characters, this is all we can really get from a forward air drag down. However, fast followers are different. Fast followers can be hit with a down tilt, which can lead into a lot of combos or another forward air. Instant double jump forward air makes this more consistent. Regular short hop forward airs can work too. They're less damaging and consistent, but may be preferred in certain scenarios. I will provide an update if anything consistent is discovered, but for now, they're only truly reliable on fast fallers. That being said, there is one instance where forward air drag downs can drag down non fast fallers. This can happen when you combo onto a platform. Sora can get a lot of messed up combos on triplats.
That concludes the video. Thank you for watching. I really believe that these combo routes give Sora a super threatening punish game. I like to state that I am not an absolute master on Sora. He hasn't been out very long at all. There could be some combo routes that I missed or helpful tips that I glossed over. Feel free to let me know if you're struggling with anything or if you find something important that I didn't talk about. I'll try my best to respond to any comments. This video is a big undertaking for someone that's ever attempted to put together and edit an informational video like this. It was fun, kind of. I'll be making a lot more videos on Sora and Smash in general, so subscribe if you'd like to see that. Mainly informational content. Currently, I'm thinking about making videos that go more in depth with counterplay framework options or specifics on the up air up B confirm. Feel free to comment topic suggestions for future videos. Also, I apologize if my voice is quiet or shaky at some points. I've never really recorded my voice to use in a video like this before, but I found it necessary in this instance. Again, thanks for watching. Peace.